So to set up a situation for knife, we will press D and using circle and polygon and 32, we will just click and drag and create a few circles. And as you see on the wireframe, whenever it comes to Blender and Booleans, they will just solve as they will. Whenever it comes to finding the nearest edge and which edge of the circle it will choose to connect with. However, if we press D and we switch over to box, we can change over to knife. And we see that we have an option for hops mark, which we'll be talking about. But knife in essence is used to be able to basically assist your geometry with how it solves whenever it comes to booleans. I mean, this is normally the primary use I have for it is basically drawing boxes and allowing it to assist with the solving to alleviate the stress that normally comes with the bevel on unsolved geometry. In fact, for this box, I'll need to press G and move things. But after clicking and applying, we see that this now solves a lot better whenever it comes to these circles and their relationship with the surface, meaning that if I were to add a bevel, I'm actually able to bevel it successfully. The alternative uh, negative reality is us pressing Q and cleaning the mesh, which put us back where we started. And we see these cute little edges on the corners, which is simply unacceptable. So we'll just press Control Z and we see the result compared to what we were just looking at as something definitely much more desirable. A few things to keep in mind whenever it comes to using blue box is it definitely can get a little bit slow. Blue box is doing intersections in edit mode and then returning you to object mode in real time. So while it looks like it's something that's happening in object mode, it's definitely an edit mode oriented operation. So it can definitely be quite heavy. Now the next thing is if you have hops enabled, you will have the option for hops mark, which will basically mark the edges that you draw with 3D box using the same settings as you have in control tilde under your hard op sharp option. So if we press D, we see that the option that would normally be delegated to shift K is now something that you can just toggle on by default, removing the need of having to press that hotkey. So if we just click and drag, we can now draw a 3D box. And if we tap into edit mode, we see that that edge has been selected and basically marked sharp. We can draw another one and we see it the same thing has actually happened with this one as well. And that's just basically now how easy it is for users to be able to just get in quickly and to start hop smart sharpening their edges. Initially, this was added for me to be able to use what quad remesher as a way to override and draw in geometry that would be used for overriding. However, it definitely is some other uses outside of that, which are definitely quite interesting. But just wanted to let users know that the switchblade for it has now been removed so you can now enable it, use it consistently, and it'll no longer turn itself back off.